Thanks for listening to Live Forever Young Radio. The power of touch can have a profound effect on the spiritual and mental health of an individual. Today on the show, we talk about havening, a newer alternative therapy technique that incorporates distraction, touch, and eye movements to help reduce anxiety and stress caused by negative memories. Learn how havening started, the science behind it, and how you can harness the power of touch to overcome fears, anxiety, or stress you may have. So sit back, relax, and get ready to live forever young. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Live Forever Young Radio. I'm Bob, and I'm here with Raleigh today. Raleigh, how's it going, Bob? Good. Good. I'm doing great, buddy. So today we're going to talk about havening. Yes. Right? People are like, what is havening? We're not talking about building little shelters out in the woods, like if you're just survival mode. We're talking about something different. Right. And so here's what's going to happen. We're going to describe what it is. We're going to demonstrate it. And you're going to be able to realize at the end, as we're doing the demo, how you can use this technique to make a positive benefit for your emotions, your spirituality, maybe even physical issues you're having like pain. Yeah, and getting in in touch with that compassionate side. A lot of the times, like in our society, for some reason, we kind of tend to feel guilty about having self-compassion or self-care we did a show called um, self-love self-care yeah and we kind of talked about the concept of self-love well this is kind of taking it to a different level here and in our society unfortunately many times like i said a lot of people tend to disregard their own self-care or feel bad about doing it or not take the time to do it yeah right this is a really really great self-care technique that is also profound right so it's the power of touch havening is where you're going to be touching your hands together and your arms and touching your arms like this touching your face while you're going through a specific sequence of thought patterns in order to resolve things right and this is it's what's called psychosensory um, technique. Yes, yeah, psychosensory and, technique, yep. right? And it's, it means you're using sensory technique to have an influence on your brain and your mind. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. So we first heard about this technique from a famous neuroscience researcher named Sue Stebbins. Mm-hmm. And Sue is the author of Mind Your Head. Yes. And she was talking about this technique. And that's when we started exploring it right we learned from sue then we also learned from going to havening.org which is the official website very good stuff check it out havening.org yep. havening.org and we watched all their videos mm-hmm. and then we went on to an event an hour and 15 minute long event where one of the certified trainers right elena kindler decided that she was going to be doing this event for people for free to join in and learn about havening and we got to do it along with her yeah it was actually really informative and it was it was really something that we were like wow we got to bring this to our people and incredibly relaxing yes and therapeutic and um havening was founded by ronald rubin dr ronald rubin Mm -hmm. okay dr rubin's a, a medical doctor who has committed his life to helping people that are trying to be happy and healthy so he knows that his havening technique helps with physical issues emotional issues and helps people to have as you were saying raleigh this sense of self-love right yeah Yeah. man now now, i I was gonna say you were you were telling me it's only been around you founded it in 2010 so it's a fairly new thing yes um and a lot of people that uh, from what we've heard a lot of people who are using it and actually the experiences we've had have been really helpful Yes, and uh, Dr. Rubin wrote a book where he first introduced it in 2010, and his book was called When the Past is Always Present. Okay. So that gives you a clue, right? There so what it's what this is about is Havening helps you to deal with the reoccurrence of events where you're remembering events from the past that had caused you trauma or some other discomfort Mm -hmm. and when you remember it it causes you more discomfort sometimes you're not even really remembering it but you might react or overreact to something Mm 
Mm -hmm. And people say, oh, that person's overreacting. (laughs) It's because something triggered events from the past. Now, in the most extreme of cases, if someone's had a really bad trauma, Mm -hmm. something like being in the war, a severe car accident, a death of a loved one, especially if it was violent, Mm. these things create these these encodings, these imprints in the brain. And then if something later on triggers it, it comes back up and they're reliving the event just like it actually was happening all over again. Yeah, okay? and that sounds like something that, if not dealt with, it lasts forever. I know some people who yeah. are in their 70s and 80s and that, like a couple people I know, my dad's friends that, that were in war they yep. still deal with those those memories of the things they saw, you know, and that's imprinted, like yes. blazoned on the brain, you know. Right. And so what havening does, what why it works is it's changing your brain waves, okay? Mm-hmm. So it's changing mm-hmm. your cool. brain waves in in a part of your brain called the amygdala, which is kind of like the seat of your brain that deals with these things and also deals with whether or not everything is okay or if there's some kind of danger. Yeah, we actually, not to interrupt you, but in a show we did called Finding Your Inner Balance, we went into a lot about the amygdala. Yeah. And so check that show out. It's called Finding Your Inner Balance. Yeah, exactly. And there's there's a specific part of the amygdala, the the lateral nucleus, Mm -hmm. which has been identified as the area that's dealing with these encoded memories Mm -hmm. and very sophisticated research about how um, channels open up in the cells and allow calcium in and receptors and this kind of thing that we won't go into all the details about. But what it turns out is the triggering is dependent on the type of brainwave present Mm. at the time in that part of your brain. Right? Wow. Now, all different parts of your brain have diff- are vibrating at different frequencies. And people have heard of beta waves, gamma waves, theta waves. There's a thing called theta healing, mm-hmm. alpha waves. And delta, we know, is the wave of sleep. Right. Okay? And they're in different wave forms, right? And your brain has different uh, waves that are controlling different parts of your brain at different times. So f- memory, for example, is dependent upon theta waves in your dentate gyrus while you're sleeping. Okay. okay? And, but during, during waking hours, it's not vibrating in theta. Okay? okay. And so this is how this type of thing works. And it turns out that with havening, with this touch, this psychosensory input, okay, you can actually change the brain wave in the area of your brain, right? The lateral nucleus of your amygdala. Hmm. And by changing it from its normal brainwave state into a delta wave, it turns out that that whole chemical reaction that's going on in the lateral nucleus can't happen in the presence of delta waves, <laughs> right? So these this state of encoded memories being triggered by synesthesias that now produce this maladaptive response that keeps people stuck and sick and stressed Mm. can be totally changed by producing these delta waves at the time of the remembrance. Gotcha. So it's time specific. Yeah, at that time, because you remember... you. You need to be remembering it gotcha. so that as the action begins to happen, if you change to delta and it blocks it, now your brain has learned to create delta in the future, even if you're not doing the havening. Cool. Right. So it can be a permanent fix. That's so awesome. To speak, right. So what are you dealing with? You're dealing with fears and anger and guilt and, as we said, PTSD. Right. And these types of things will lead to, you know, depression, Mm -hmm. anxiety. Social um, disorders. Addictions like, you know, alcohol, drug abuse, Mm. and addiction to food. Sure. Right? Sure. And so people can get very sick 
from this. Addiction to food and drugs and alcohol, you know, it's, it can kill you. Absolutely. Right? Uh, too much of anything can kill you, even food. Right. And so this is this is why havening is so important. It's not just a cute thing, oh, I'm going right. to love myself by rubbing my hands together. No, I might actually be able to save my life rubbing my hands together. Right. Okay? Now, in the case, though, of people that have had really big traumas, mm -hmm. okay, you're going to want a therapist, right? A havening therapist. And these havening therapists go through extensive study and they have to actually become certified through the school that is on the havening.org site. And you can actually go in uh, to that site and you can um, participate along and learn the basics of havening for yourself with Elena Kindler. Mm -hmm. And May the 2nd, 2022 mm -hmm. is her next one. Okay. Right? And so we're recording this prior to then. Right. And that's her next one. But she's going to be doing them ongoing. So go to havening.org and click on events. Okay. Right. And then you'll be able to see it. And some of the events are trainings for people that want to begin to become practitioners and eventually trainers. Cool. And this is a, you know, this is intellectual property of the company. Right. right? Havening is a registered trademark and they're training materials. And so this is where you want to go for the actual experience and the training. And today we are conveying the existence of it and showing you what we learn from watching their videos and with Elena, okay? Um, but if somebody is dealing with a trauma like PTSD or right. some of those things, a deep you're going to want to do this with a certified person. Absolutely. For many reasons, right? And But here's the main thing. Where did havening the word, where did it come from? Hmm. A haven. Mm -hmm. What is a haven? It's a safe place. Right. Okay? And so... Havening is a is a verb, right? Finding a safe place. Finding a safe place, exactly. right? And so in order to find a safe place from a severe trauma, mm -hmm. you're going to need the help of a havening therapist. Yeah, it didn't okay? just, uh, this problem didn't just happen overnight. If you've been dealing with it for a while and it's a deep-seated issue, you want to need, right. going to need some professional help. <laughs> so we watched um, one particular video where a therapist was working with a woman who was afraid to get on an escalator. Right. Okay? Yes. And so she was just afraid she wouldn't go on an right. escalator. Okay? And so the the therapist um, sat in front of her, and he was he had her bring up the, the thought of being afraid of riding on an escalator. Right. And he asked her, on a scale of 1 to 10, how much does this bother you? It's like, well, I can't go on an escalator. It's a 10, right? And so while she was thinking of this, he actually reached across and was touching her arms like this and touching her hands. And he had a discussion with her about it. And when they were done, he's like, okay, now go and give it a try. See if you can get onto an escalator. And she did. And they showed a picture of her. And she actually got on the escalator and she stumbled. Oh, God. And which it could be extremely frightening because yes. that's kind of what you're afraid of. Yeah, right? that's the whole point. You don't want to fall. You don't want to fall, your and it's stuff all caught in the whatever. Yeah, you got right. a long tie on, or if you're swallowed by the escalator. dress. You're wearing a dress, and your dress gets right. ripped off. Hey, you don't want that. Yeah. <laughs> so she stumbled, and but nonetheless, she got right back, rode the escalator, and was talking while she was on the escalator wow. to a person with a video going, "Hey, no problem. This is great. Okay, that's so cool. that was an example. Right. Okay, so." Havening is involves you know bringing up the issue that you want to deal with, and touching your hands together. So they start by saying, "Rub your hands together like this." And when we were watching Elaine Kindler, she was actually moving yeah, her like arms back and forth, right, where like she this. would keep her hands together, but she was doing this, and for the whole time, the whole almost, yeah, hour, almost the whole hour, she was touching right. And then she did a lot of this, where she touched the top part of her arms by just going up and down yep, like this. Yeah, these things. Right? Yeah. And it also is good to touch your forearms. And in another one of the videos we watched where people would the touch their face. Forehead. It was almost like you're washing your face yeah. with your hands 
without soap and water. And she right? said there there isn't really like one you have to do for this or that. It's really kind of just something, whichever touch that you prefer the most is the one that you go with. Right. And so what, what happens is, is this. So while you're, while you're touching yourself, you're creating these delta waves, right, in the lateral nucleus. Hmm. And so you bring up the issue. You've got the waves going that are facilitating the trauma, the reliving of the trauma. Right, the bad and making you feel fearful of the escalator. Right. And while that's going on, you're switching it to delta. You're switching. And it stops. Hmm. Because it's a chemical reaction that's going on in your brain. Right. And it won't work in the presence of delta. And so all of a sudden it stops and the fear stops, the depression, the anxiety stops. And it then creates a memory in your brain of the recruiting of the delta waves. Right. Now the recruiting of the delta waves comes from the... From the haven, the, the, the touch, from the touch, the, havening, right? the power of touch. Comes, As we said, it's the comes power from of the touch. power of touch. But fortunately, what also happens is your brain learns for that specific event mm -hmm. to create delta every time in the future. Oh man! So if you're reliving you the fear and the associated anxiety from a car accident, right? Okay, so that every time you get close to a car, you start to panic, mm -hmm. or maybe you can't drive yourself right. because right. you're afraid, okay? You can make a permanent modification in your brain so that you can free yourself mm -hmm. from these negative emotions that might be not only holding you back from something, but creating a stress response mm -hmm. that is really bad for you. Too much cortisol, too much inflammation. Literally, you can give yourself a heart attack right. from these encoded memories that want to last your whole life long. It's, it's basically, it's, it's a physiological reaction to an emotional uh, state of mind that continues to play over and over in your head like a, a like a bad song or a bad dream. Yeah. You just can't get the song out of your head. Right. And the, and the other thing is, Raleigh, your brain tends to organize things along emotional states mm. and similar events. Right. So if you're in a car accident and you create this encoded memory that gets triggered whenever you get too close to another car. Right. What if you get in another car accident? Oh. Right. It's twice as bad. Right. And if you get into a third car accident, it's, it's like, twice as bad again or four times as bad as the first time. Yeah. It's called a gestalt. Right. And for some people, the events that cause the problems happen many, 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 many times, such as child abuse. Mm -hmm. A child can be abused every day mm. for years and years and years. And imagine the buildup of the encoded trauma. Okay. Well, havening can be used yep. for adults like this that have even had situations like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. But um, for ourselves, right, watching right. along with Elena, yeah. and learning to do it for yourself. And if at some point you start to feel upset about something, might be any little thing, you can use start havening and just generate them deltas, baby. Just go and don't don't try to ignore at the moment right away the event just say okay i recognize that i felt a little angry about this situation and so i'm doing some havening and i'm starting to feel better okay mm -hmm. and you can use it for things like that but again if you're going to use it for traumas there there's um, plenty of people mm -hmm. like elena that are on the website that can help you and they'll do it over the phone right. or some of them will do it in person. Mm -hmm. Some are in different countries. There's always Zoom too, you know. Yeah, Zoom, a lot of that is done. I uh, noticed there was a Havening um, instructor in Australia. Cool. And so this is this is the general gist of it. I uh, wanted to do this today because it seen it, from my own personal experience using it and following along with Elena, it worked really well. Yeah. And wanted to share it with everybody here on Live For Every Young Radio today. Yeah, and one of the best things about it is that we'll have all the information. 
at the bottom of this blog and we'll also be uh, you'll see stuff flashing on the screen so if you haven't seen it from the stuff that we just put up on the screen go down to the bottom of the blog and also in the description of the YouTube video we'll have all that information so you can check it out again it's havening.org right yeah and um, I think and thanks for, thanks to dr. Rudin well, for his discovery of course thanks to all the havening instructors people involved in it thanks to Elena for doing this free hour-long session that got, got us to into enjoy. it it was totally worth and it thanks man. to sue stebbins the right. neuroscience researcher who wrote mind your head right this is a way to mind your head by minding your body <laughs> and yeah and we wouldn't have known it without her so thank yeah. god for that and we're, we're happy to bring it to you guys and thank you everybody for watching and listening to live forever young radio and we'll see you on the next show thanks for listening to live forever young radio Check us out at liveforeveryoungradio.com.